How do you quantify a sensation? Temperature is the most sensual information. It's in the air and it surrounds you. Working in tandem with weather, it influences your activities. Its ability to interrupt is reinforced in language. You could take a rain check or take it by storm. It's too hot to hoot. You're inside. In a climate-controlled space, you're subject to a smaller set of variables without weather. High cool, low cool. Medium fan, ionized air. Your options are limited to a dial or even just a switch. You adjust for the microclimate which occupies the interval between your skin and shirt sleeve. This way, you can focus on multitasking, anticipate answers, answer emails. A cold sweat breaks on your brow, so you take off your hat. You sit down to rest and regulate your thermal comfort levels. How do you quantify a sensation? Clo units are used to measure the thermal insulating capacity of garments. One clo is the amount of insulation necessary for a subject at rest to remain comfortable in 70 degrees Fahrenheit in a climate controlled room. An ensemble that is equal to one clo unit would be a full suit, shirt, and underclothes. Based on these standards, the average human is a male businessman in an air-conditioned office. Man is a measure of all things. Dressed in a suit and underclothes, this man is clothed for indoor comfort, one clo unit. Single-breasted thin suit jacket by Lagerfeld. Minus 39 clo units. Leather square toe drivers by Ferragamo. Minus 0 0.02 clo units. Silk necktie by Lanvin. Clo units unknown. Button down Oxford. Vintage. Minus 0.25 clo units. Cotton undershirt by Gildan. Minus 0 0.08 clo units. Silk wool pinstripe trousers by Lagerfeld. Minus 19 clo units. Athletic crew socks, Nike. Minus 0 0.03 clo units. Boxers by American Apparel. 0 0.04 clo units. Nothing. Zero clo units. Zero clo units is equal to wearing nothing at all. How do you quantify a sensation?